Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and today I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about Bernat Pop, which is a really fun yarn from Yarnspirations. This is a 100% acrylic yarn that is really awesome in all sorts of projects, both garments and around the home. And it's self-striping, which is a whole lot of fun. So let's take a closer look at this yarn together. So first, let's take a closer look at the label. If we turn it over and start rolling it along here, you can see it has five ounces or 280 yards, 140 grams or 256 meters in every cake. It is 100% acrylic and it is a four medium weight, which means it's a great yarn to use on all sorts of projects and all sorts of patterns. The recommended needle size is five millimeter and the recommended hook size is also five millimeter. As we turn it over here, you can see that we've got the handcrafted colorway here and you'll want to keep an eye out for a dye lot. As we continue to turn it over, you can see there is also a free pattern on the label included on this skein. So let's go ahead and pop this label open. Okay, so inside the label, we do have that written pattern. And one thing to note is that they do use a five millimeter crochet hook when they're making that crochet kerchief scarf to give you a little bit idea of how you can play with those hook sizes and needle sizes. You can see the instructions here are both in English and in French. And at the very bottom there, we've got our machine washing and drying instructions with a little bit more detail. Now let's take a closer look at that yarn. Here at the top of the cake, you can see that there are five colors in each colorway. There are 29 total different colorways. This is the only one I have with me here today. It's a handcrafted one, but it's a pretty good example. And you can see those five distinct colors. We've got a lighter pink, light blue, a darker blue, a yellow, and then that darker pink. And then a little bit more of that lighter pink there on the outside. Because it is a caked yarn, while each cake will have five different colors in it, everything from brights to neutrals, uh, each cake will also be a little bit different in where it splits those up. So if you're multi making a multi-skein project, you may want to try and you know start the next skein on the same color you finish off with. But it just depends on the project you're making. Now we can take a closer look at the strand of yarn itself. As I mentioned, it's 100% acrylic, so there isn't any stretch to the yarn itself. It's also a plied yarn, you can see right here. So if you have a sharp enough a set of needles or a hook, you could theoretically split it, but it's not something I encountered when I was working with this yarn. You can see too, it's got a really nice squish and a pretty darn good hand feel. I would say it is a very pleasant acrylic to work with. And here's a swatch that I've been working up in crochet with this yarn. You can see it has pretty good drape to it and a really good feel, and it is with that recommended hook size again, the five millimeter. And it also, as you can see here, gives great texture. I worked a few bobbles in this so you can see just how well these stand out in this yarn. And you can also see it is a pretty abrupt color change. This isn't one of those yarns where one color fades into the next. Really, once you finish one color, it pops right over to the next. So I'll take a couple more stitches here as you can see, but I have here a resin hook and it actually slides really beautifully on here. If I said, as I said, if you have a sharp enough hook or needles, it can catch just a little bit, but it's not something that I found particularly troublesome at all. And I'll finish that stitch and then I'll pull it right back out so you can see it also pulls out or frogs really well as well. I haven't found any fuzzing with this yet. There is a slight bit of fuzz on the yarn itself, but I haven't found any pilling or anything as I've worked with it, although I haven't worked with this one for very long. I also didn't find any thin or lumpy bits, and I found it was very consistent throughout. And here's a large knit swatch that I've been working on with this yarn, again with the recommended size needles. And I did find that it's got a really nice feel to it. It wanted to curl up on me a little bit there at the beginning, but uh, yeah, it's got a really nice feel, and I think this would make a really nice sweater, even in the recommended needle size. I'd probably go up a little bit for a little bit looser garment, but for an outerwear garment, I think the recommended needle size is just right. And I've worked up a little bit of stockinette here. You can see some seed stitch. I was just kind of playing with my stitches a little bit, but you really can see the stitch definition pretty darn well. It's not super crisp. Like I say, there's a little bit of fuzz on the yarn, but you really, you can see each of those stitches. You can see each of those loops on the hook really well, or on the needles. So I would recommend this as a great uh, yarn for any crochet or knitting beginners. And of course you can craft with it as well. Now I did mention that it is a four worsted weight yarn, but as you can see here, it's also one of the thicker fours. So within that range, I would liken it to certainly one of the thicker acrylics out there rather than one of the thinner ones. 
You can see here it slides just as beautifully on the metal. It's not splitting at all. Although I said, like I say, if I tried, I'm sure I could split it. But I also haven't encountered any encountered rather any knots or ties or anything else like that in this yarn. Overall, it's just been a real pleasure to work with. And here is the Bernat Color Block Ruffle Front Crochet Vest that I designed using Bernat Pop. This is a free pattern on your inspirations, and it comes in four sizes for two, four, six, or eight year olds. The two and four year olds, you can make this vest with just one ball of Bernat Pop, and for the six and eight year olds, you just need two of the balls. So that's a bit more about yarn inspirations Bernat Pop. Be sure to look for this yarn in a yarn store near you or on yarninspirations.com. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.